Whenever this man has time to be alone, he cannot help but look at these cherished pictures of his wedding with his beautiful wife. His name is Mudaharanwa Celestine, a 44-year-old dwarf man bravely raising six children. Flipping through these photographs, he ponders the good old days when his family was thriving and the future seemed bright and promising. But sadly, that promising future has unraveled into the seas of hardships and desperation. The first time we visited this family, it was clear that his wife was deeply unhappy. She wept throughout the interview as if carrying an invisible burden that weighed heavily on her heart. For those of you who watched the video, you couldn't miss the overwhelming sadness and heartbreak which was clearly visible on her face. You mentioned it in the comments, which drew our attention once more. Determined to uncover the truth, we embarked on a long journey to visit this family once again. On our second visit, Mudaharanwa himself appeared weary and dispirited. His wife, however, seemed even more depressed and broken than before. When asked why she looked so sad, she would shy away, unable to answer the question. Despite her silence, her husband still tries to comfort her by showing her pictures of their joyful past. So what happened to this woman? Why is she so heartbroken and unable to speak her mind? This is her tragic story. It all began 20 years ago when a confident dwarf man decided to take a chance and marry one of the most beautiful women in the village. Mudaharanwa was not wealthy then, but he was determined to build a family. He saw Adeline as his perfect match because of her charisma and grace. <laughs> Against all odds, after four years of relentless persuasion, he convinced her to marry him, and they had a spectacular wedding, as you can see throughout the photographs. Despite his physical stature and financial limitations, Muda Haranwa's vibrant personality won her over, to the surprise of everyone in the village. But there was a little problem. By tying the knot, Adeline chose to be cut off from her family and friends, who had tried everything to prevent her from marrying a dwarf man. This isolation has so far profoundly impacted her life, as her husband explains. Her family and friends didn't want her to marry me. They did everything in their power to convince her that I was a bad choice, even suggesting other men. They isolated her to the point where she no longer stays in touch with them. It was very hard to handle, but I helped her stay calm. She used to tell me how much she missed her family, but they were unwilling to welcome her after we married. The isolation was unbearable for her. The first few years, Adeline managed to stay calm and carried on with her life. She gave birth to six children, with the youngest being the only healthy child, as the others were born with dwarfism. Initially, she found joy in her youngest child, but that happiness was short-lived. Rumors began to swirl in the village, accusing her of infidelity, claiming that the healthy child was the result of an affair. Muda Haranwa, once her rock and comfort zone, began to believe these cruel rumors, and his behavior towards her grew hostile. Cut off from her family and mistreated by her husband, Adeline found herself in a sea of isolation and despair. Muda Haranwa now deeply regrets his actions. Mm. 
I deeply regret how I mistreated her. She has been a loyal wife, but I listened to the rumors and somehow started to mistreat her. She lost the only support network she was remaining with, which aggravated her sadness. I wish I hadn't treated her like I did after the birth of our last child. In an attempt to show his remorse, Mudaharanwa gave his name to their last born child. But this has not changed the reality as his wife still lives a very sad life. The family's problems would have been more bearable if poverty was not a factor in their life. Mudaharanwa can no longer work due to his disability, leaving his family to rely on Adeline's efforts to make ends meet. However, as she ages, her opportunities for employment dwindle, especially since she only has experience in manual labor because of lack of skills in prestigious professions. Currently, both Mutaheranwa and Adeline are unemployed and they spend their time doing nothing at home. To survive, they depend on the kindness of neighbors who help feed their six children and pay their rent. But their needs are great especially with their children in school, which adds to their challenges. The constant worry about her children's future and her isolation from friends and family have taken a severe toll on Adeline, leading to her profound sadness. My wife worries so much because of our current life and I truly understand her concerns. She is worried that we are poor and won't be able to afford our children's school fees or manage to pay our rent regularly. I try my best to lighten her mood, but often she just ignores me because of the sadness she endures. I can only pray to God that one day she will smile at me again like we used to when we were young. This family is blessed with six children who support and care for each other. They play together and watch movies in their small room as they try their best to find moments of joy amidst their struggles. But the assurance of maintaining this lifestyle is uncertain contributing to their mother's exceptional sadness. Sometimes this man is worried that his beloved wife might think the unthinkable, as she once talked about ending it all if nothing changes in their life. At the moment, he is still pondering how he can make a return to the labor market, but his disability and lack of experience will likely hinder his prospects. but you can do something about this sad situation. You can help maintain the lifestyle of this wonderful family by donating through the GoFundMe links found in the description and pinned in the top comments. Thank you for watching The Intacts. Subscribe for more heartfelt and impactful stories.